Morning, guys. Morning, morning, morning. Hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing Wednesday morning. I had to think about what day it was. Wow. Um, I'm having a good morning. Sipping my coffee. Mm. It's butter pecan today. So, yummy, yummy. I made it at home. I am waiting on my husband to get a physical therapy. So I was like, well, I need to get this book review up. So I may as well go ahead and put it up. I just got done with um, Sarah J. I believe it's Moss, M-A-A-S, A Court of Thorn and Roses. <laughs> Guys, I've read some really good books this year, but this one was up there. I really, really, really like, I believe they pronounce her name Fairy. Um, I like her character a lot. She's a badass, but still, like, not real. I don't like my badass female characters who are too confident, if you would. Like, Fairy does not think she's a badass but she is truly a badass and I hope by the end of this five book series she sees that she's a badass because she really is and I thoroughly thoroughly love her character um I just think she's awesome and essentially the plot is this human 19 year old girl is out hunting um her family is impoverished at the time she's their only source of food and she hunts for their food and she accidentally kills a fairy. Um, and he is a member of the Spring Court. And so the high elf of the Spring Court, Tamlin, comes and, and makes her pay a debt. Um, like a life debt, kind of. Essentially because she killed this fairy she has to now go live in his spring court for the rest of her life well she gets there and um she's worried about her family he, tamlin lets her know i took care of your family they're actually much better off with you here than with you home with them so she's like okay well that's cool then um and she kind of tries to settle in but there is a they call it a blithe on the land of some of these words. You guys know I'm not real good with the fantasy words. I call it Perithian. It's the, the fairy lands. There's what's called a blithe, which means somebody has drained their magic. This evil sorceress woman. I believe her name was like Amarathian or something like that. Essentially, she's an evil, evil queen of y'all these these words Parathian um, is the land and she's the evil queen and essentially she has made a deal with Tamlin that he must have a human woman fall in love with him to break this curse well they can't tell Fairy about the curse. So she has to fall in love with them naturally. She does, but she's too scared to tell him. And it becomes too late. And he sends her back to the human world. And he is taken captive by the evil Lord Woman. And essentially, she has to go and save him. Uh, the human girl. Which, as you can imagine, has its issues. So, I'm not going to give away the ending of the first book, but that is the premise of the first book. It's very, very good. I have a few bones to pick. One, I am not Tamlin's biggest fan. Though I have heard, and I've already started book two, A Court of Mist and Fury. I have a feeling Tamlin's not the end all and be all and that that makes me happy because Tamlin while he is very kind to Fairy, and I do believe he loves Fairy. I think he has put her into a box that 
I don't think she belongs in. I don't think he truly believes in her power. I believe that he thinks of her still as that helpless human girl. And at the end of book one, she does become a high, um, a high fairy because she dies and they have to bring her back. Spoiler alert. Don't know if I should have told you guys that, but she becomes a high lady of the fairies. Um, because they bring her back to life, all of the high lords, and she, she becomes fairy. And I don't think that Tamlin's ever going to respect her fairiness or understand the amount of power she has, where there is another male character, a, a very smart-assy, sarcastic, the high lord of the night kingdom named Riesland, who I absolutely love. I think he is, Riesland is the guy, at least if I was fairy, that I would pick. Um, and yeah, so when she was in the dungeons of the evil queen woman, Riesland and her had to make a deal. Riesland had to save her life. He healed her arm, which was, you know, stabbed and infected and killing her with a fever. Because of it, he put these tattoos all over her arm and, um, they are a bond between them and she has to spend one week a month with him. And starting in book two, which I'm, I'm only a couple chapters in, she has to go to the night court and spend her time with Riesland. And so I'm really excited about where this story is going. But as far as my review of the first book, which is A Court of Thorns and Roses, I really liked it little bit of a slow burn and then everything kind of happens at once at the end there but I will say I really enjoyed the book um I love Fere as a character fairy however you want to say her name it is spelled f-e-y-r-e -E. um I loved her as a character Tamlin I loved in the beginning until I started to see some of his, like, idiosyncrasies that men have. And then, while I don't dislike him or Lucian as characters, Lucian is his kind of right-hand man. While I don't dislike them as characters, I do not any longer think Tamlin is right for Ferre. I believe that Reese or Reesland is a better choice for her, and I'm hoping that that is what comes to tuition um but yeah out of five stars I give four easily to the court of thorns and roses I have heard book two is the best book in the series and I've just started it the court of misery and fury no the court of mist and fury so I'm really really excited it's already really good and I'm a few chapters in I will give you guys a video review of what I think of A Court of Mist and Fury once I've finished it. I'm um, hoping to get back into a regular review of books. I have seven, yeah, something like seven to ten currently waiting on my Kindle for you guys to, to have reviews of. I'm really looking forward to some of them. I purchased Verity, which I've heard. <coughs> Excuse me. I've heard a tremendous amount about Verity. It is a thriller. And as soon as I finish the five books in the court series, that will probably be the next book that I read. <coughs> I apologize. So yes, once I finish the five books in the court series, Verity will probably be the next thing I read. Um, there are just some really good thrillers that I've been getting, um, on Kindle daily deals. I think Verity is normally like $10 and I paid $1.99 for it the day after Christmas. Woohoo! Love a good sale. I did miss out on the Barnes and Noble sale. I guess the 26th of December, every year they do half price hardback books at Barnes and Noble. 
So now that I know about it, next year I am 100% going to be prepared with some Barnes & Noble gift cards to go in there and blow some money on some hardback books and get my shelves more stocked. I love reading on my Kindle. Um, I think I'm getting a new Kindle Paperwhite for Valentine's Day. So I'll share that with you guys. Um, I'm so excited about that. But I like I like filling my bookshelves too. And if I can get them 50% off the day after Christmas at Barnes & Noble, heck yeah. Why wouldn't I? And, um, yeah. So that's kind of what we're reading right now. Oh, The Princess Trials. There's three books in that series. And I've heard it's like the selection series meets Hunger Games. Very excited to read that. It's coming in the coming months. Like I said, I've got four books left to finish in the court series. I want to read Verity. There's a couple other thrillers that I've got downloaded, already purchased, that I want to read. And then we'll hit the Princess Trials three book series. Lots of stuff upcoming, guys. Lots more book reviews. Um, I read 32 last year. Well, I'm not done yet because I'll probably finish a couple more of these court books before the end of the year. Um, just because I'm kind of going through them really quickly. But I am so, so excited for a year full of reading. I'm really going to prioritize me time and reading. In 2022, maybe a little bit less television watching. Though I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, I've been trying to get through The Expanse. I am midway through season four, and um, I believe there's six seasons out. My husband has seen through season five. They just released season six. So I'm trying to get through it so that we can watch season six together. It is good. It is just, it drags a little bit sometimes, so it is what it is. But I'll get it finished and give you a final review of the show. So, I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope that you're having an amazing, amazing Wednesday. I hope that you are reading something amazing. If you are, please leave it in the comments so I can read it as well. And I love you guys. I will see you on Monday.